series returns to the belt from a second installment behind flying tight quarter mile bull ring of honor. Jump here. This is a fast two lane playground that breeds excitement and loads of action. This is the Budweiser 300 from Valley Junction, Quebec. TSN is a NASCAR Canadian Tire Series visits the for the first time. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Dave Bradley, along with Billy Backside and Billy, bienvenue in Quebec, and welcome to a spectacular little facility. What a neat little speed plant they got going here. It's only quarter mile in length, but there's two distinct grooves, and there's speed in both those grooves. Look for a lot of action here. In the opening race of the four of J.R. Fitzpatrick, who took the dominant win, but still early in this 11 race season every point counts and that's what the racers will be looking for here today and with more on today's race let's go down thanks dave drivers had two 30 minute practice sessions to try to find two we'll see a jr fits number one has him on top but a number of competitors in that race are only running a partial schedule and the same is here today starting on the front row who was fast out of the gate is steve matthews in the number 15 ford from new liskard ontario matthews blistered a lap of 13.109 seconds in fact found a small problem with a ball joint just before qualifying that getting it fixed helped enable him to have that fast lap Starting alongside Steve Matthews on the front row is the number 95 Dodge of Anthony Simone. Has been away from the series for a number of years, but came out, had a really fast lap, actually practiced with four-year-old tires, but had a fast lap and put him on the front row. Simone's going to try to duck in and ride around in the first half of the race and then fine-tune his car at the midway point. Let's head to the start-finish line for the command to get festivities underway. Coming to life for the second time in 2014. The 22 Canadian Tire Dodge of Scott Steckley struggled a little here in practice. It's a long race, though. They'll get it all figured out. You see Alex Tagliani, and will also ride on board today with a third car from the Steckley race shop. And Dave, that car is prepared by Mike Knott and Ray Desette. A couple brand new cars being campaigned. That is one of them, the 25 of Joey McComb, and also the 17 of DJ Kennington has a brand new car rolling out here today. We'll take a look at the Budweiser 300 starting grid as the cars roll off behind the pace car. And you see them all filing along. We'll take long to get around this track. Stephen Matthews, your pole sitter. Anthony Simone sitting to the outside. In row number two, it's Jason Hathaway in the three. He was quick in practice. Alex Tagliani back on an oval in a full body stock car. Then it's the 47 of LP Dumoulin. The 02 is Mark Dilley. Row number four has Alex Gannett in the 39. Andrew Ranger in the 27. We have to look back to row number five to find the 25 of Joey McComb and DJ Kennington. Again, another new car starting right alongside. Row six is the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick, your points leader, coming into this one. Hugo Vanini is behind the wheel of the 97. Look back to row number seven is Noel Dallery in the five of Chevrolet here today. And there is the 22 of Scott Steckley. Jason White's in the 28 and Ray Cordemange Jr. in the 24 of row eight. And a look back to the 72 of Erica Thiering, a five-time NASCAR champion at Edmonton International Raceway. Dave, as we look at the race analysis, let's talk about pit strategy tonight. There really isn't any as we know it. At lap 150, NASCAR is going to throw a competition caution. Everybody comes down pit road, puts in fuel, a pair of right side sneakers, and away we go again. It definitely will make things interesting. Now before the green, let's go down to talk to Todd with tonight's Leland lead up to the green. Todd? As we get set to go green, a couple of notes. Alex Tagliani making his return to the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series, and what a transition from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway at two and a half miles to Autodrome Chaudière, which is only a quarter of a mile, 10 times smaller. It'll be a big adjustment, but Alex is excited about it. From veteran racer to first-timer and all-round rookie, Erica Thiering is running her first NASCAR Canadian Tire Series event. Spoke to absorb as much as she possibly can and learn as much as she can. A great day for her, she said, would be to finish. Guys. And she's played that game before. She's visited a number of these tracks and she's just watched these series races. So it'll be interesting to see how it plays out here today. Green flag flies and we're underway here at Autodrome Chaudier. Side by side down into turn one. Off a of turn two, the 15 of Matthews takes the point. And I think
Steve side by side is something you'll be saying a lot here today, Billy. The two brewers already working in. You see Matthews drifting up a little bit from the two cars right behind Jason Hathaway and the Rockstar Chevy and the 95 Dodge of Anthony Simone still battling side by side. Simone up in that green outside groove, a little bit loose, but that second groove will come in, and I'll tell you, that'll be the place to be later on. Alex Tagliani is a little unfamiliar with these ovals in a full body stock car. You heard Todd touch on it a little bit. The last time he was turning just left in a stock car was way back in 2008, if you can believe it or not. Well, Dave, you know, you just seen something there that he couldn't do last week at, at Indianapolis Motor <laughs> Speedway, and that's touch somebody. A lot of cars making contact in the early going here in the Budweiser 300. Good look at the CBSF number 25 of Joey McCone. Hugo Vanini up in the outside groove as well. You remember, Vanini had a great run at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park to open up the season. <laughs> that was hard into the traffic. I'll tell you right there, you can hear the balance hit down on the asphalt. He was hard on the brake pedal, trying not to get the back of the 25. J.R. Fitzpatrick in the office. He looks pretty calm right now. He's a veteran. He, you know, he's a loud pedal guy. He's on it all the time. But you know what? You just watch his hands and the steering wheel. He is super smooth. Joey McComb is grabbing a whole bunch of steering wheel. And up. On the outside now is the Bopar Dodge, the number 27 of Andrew Ranger as he battles with Alex Tagliani. Actually, we got three of the Quebecers all running in a, in a group right there. We got the 47, the 18, and the 27 all fighting for the provinces. Oh, and there's the fourth one, Gannett. We got all four Quebecers right there fighting for the same spot. The Moto Limite, number 39 of Alex Gannett making his first start of the 2014 campaign. And there is DJ Kennington up on the outside of the Castro Dodge. A quick little lap here at Autodrome Showyard. Oh, this, this is an exciting racetrack, Dave. Look at the 27 Ranger. He sets that thing down on the outside, and Tagliani can't get back to the power because he's there. He needs that spot that Tagliani's in to get all the power down, so he's got him trapped on the bottom. He saw some contact ahead. We're on board with the 17 of DJ Kennington sits in ninth position. And this battle between the 18 of Alex Tagliani and the Mopar Dodge of Andrew Ranger settles in single file for now. Tank was able to wear him up there. Hey, the three of Hathaway taking a look on the inside of the 15. A Chevrolet bow tie on the front of that Rockstar number three. Jason Hathaway has been very quick. First in the first practice and first in the final practice as well. And right now he is working over the back bumper of your early race leader out of New Lister, Ontario, the 15 of Stephen Matthews. Wake up and smell the coffee. When they tell you their service and collision parts or accessories are as good as original, get out of there. Your vehicle deserves the best. Genuine Mopar. With Mopar, it's easy to keep your baby looking good and running great. Let someone else settle for knockoffs. Get the best for your Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, SRT, and Fiat. We are Mopar. Demand authentic performance. Family is all about firsts. First hellos. And first lessons. The first kiss. The first time away. And that first trip home. Dodge Grand Caravan. For 30 years, it's taken everything a family could throw at it or in it. If you love your car more than anything, treat it right with Castrol Edge. Castrol Edge is driven stronger to meet the higher demands of your engine and the high demands of car lovers everywhere. It's more than just oil, it's liquid engineering. This NASCAR race from Valley Junction, Quebec, is brought to you by Autodrome Chaudière wants you to come watch Kyle Busch race in the Budweiser 150 on August 5th. By Honeydew, by Clean Flow, a honey of a loop. By Tim Hortons, our Canada, our coffee. And by Leland Industries, a proud Canadian fastener company. The 15 of Steve Matthews.
Matthews in the four continues to lead here at Autodrome Chaudière, still in the early going, and that pressure seems to have eased a bit from behind. Well, Jason Hathaway's probably just backed off a little bit going, you know what, I took a run at him, I know I can match his pace, and you know what, we've seen that in practice, Dave. Those two guys figured this place out really quick, and they've been the oh, 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 contact the leader there. But as I say, they were the class of the field in practice, and now in the race, they got it covered as well. Hathaway just taking his time. The 24 of Ray Quartermont Jr. in the La Cité de Mirabel Incorporated ducks to the inside. There's Erica Deering in the 72. She'll tuck down low and let the leaders go by as well. One, two, three, all nose to tail as Mark Dilly joins the party of the Johnsonville Ford. You know, those guys have really worked hard on that 0-2 car. They wanted to find some speed in that thing. And look at this, Dilly's first time out, and he's right there on the mark. Speed plan, as you call it, Billy. You can hear the drivers get back under the gas really early. Well, on these, on these short tracks, you can overdrive the entrance, and all that does is mess up the whole corner. You're better to lay, cut the corner backwards, lay the car down soft, turn it with the brake pedal, and then drive off the corner hard. Battle for 14th there between the five of Noel Dowler, who's driving for Derek White and 11 Chevrolet with Empire Mechanical backing him this weekend. The 28 is uh, Jason White from BC as they continue a dog fight when we take a look up towards the front of the field a battle for ninth between Kennington and the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick and if you looked on Twitter earlier on today Fitzpatrick after practice said the track is great the car is not so they went to work well hey when you got a veteran like Don Thompson Jr. on the box and you know that that's a strong crew you didn't win all those championships by not knowing what you're doing Donnie went to work on the car and the kids going to the front Nose to tail for six spot, taking a look back at the WeatherTech Dodge, the 47 of LP Dubai, and that is from the 27 of Andrew Ranger. Oh, a little crooked. Alex Gannett right there as well, and the Volto Limite number 39. And there you see back to that battle between DJ Kennington and J.R. Fitzpatrick. Have another look. There's the WeatherTech Dodge, the 47, driving on in. No, we let her roll just a little bit far. That's the old house she going, I'm here. <laughs> Don't make a mistake, because I'll get by you. Falling back a little bit. You remember he started on the outside of the front row, the 95 of Anthony Simone, now in fifth, and under pressure from the number 27 of Andrew Ranger. You gotta remember, qualifying's one thing, racing's in another. Lots of guys can put one lap together, but here, you gotta put 300 laps together to come out the winner. And all those detail there with the 47 of Dumoulin, the 39 of Gannett as well. So this party is about to pick up in the mid part of this field. We take a look ahead from the 0-2 of Mark Dilley. Well, hey, one thing we best remember here, Mark Dilley, where'd he cut his teeth? Barry Speedway, Sunset, he's at Sunset every week. What's this remind you of, David? <laughs> it's a very similar track to that. The 15 of Stephen Matthews, also a good short tracker, and he's got Don Jacobson helping him out this weekend. That guy has a couple wins in the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series with Pete Shepard as well, if you remember. Well, Shepard, you know, what's more important about that guy's brains is this. Shepard only ran a partial schedule, and I think their average finish was like one but not quite, but they won a lot of races, that's for sure. They sure were able to find speed as we ride on board with the number 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick, now with Gannett and the number 39. Gannett seems to be really easy on the gas pedal. Oh, we got a challenge for the lead. Hathaway with the three down the inside. He's got the spot if he can close the deal. There he is. We got a new leader, it's the three. Smart move by Matthews. Finds the hole behind the three car and ducks down in front of the 0-2 of Mark Dilley in the Johnsonville Ford as we ride on board your brand new race leader in the Rockstar Energy Chevrolet, Jason Hathaway. That new paint job and having a Chevrolet body is sure looks good on that race car. And there you look, a nose to tail stretch. Really from fifth on back is Anthony Simone just trying to hang on here. It appears as though the handling has fallen off a little and the 27 of Ranger with a big slide off the nose of the 24 of Portimont. That's going to be one of the worries here. Once you get into lap traffic, there's it's two grooves, but if you're racing hard, you're racing for every inch. Well, you get you get in a rhythm and you want to drop the thing right down to the apex. When a lap car there, you got to be conscious that your fender and his fender have to clear each other. That's where the spotter is so important on these short tracks. Things happen pretty quick on a quarter mile. 
28 of Jason uh, White. He is up on the outside. He sits in 15th position. The leader taking a look down low, and we do have to take this time to wish Mr. Hathaway's daughter, Hannah, a very happy birthday. She's turning eight today. Oh, happy birthday to her. Hey, and Dad's out front. Maybe he can give her a birthday present here today and win in the province of Quebec. It would be great to see the wall in victory lane. She's able to come to this race and is celebrating her birthday for the grandstands here. Pack grandstand of a beautiful facility, and it's great to see all these Quebec race fans come out and support the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series. Contact between the two Fords. Dilly on the back bumper, the 15 of Stephen Matthews. The three of Hathaway just continues to drive away on the second and third place cars, but he's having trouble clearing the 28. That second groove is coming in nicely. You see White able to keep up the momentum on the outside as everybody continues to be bottom feeders here at Autodrome Chaudier, picking that bottom lane, but we'll see how well that second groove able to come in. We've had a little bit of rain here the last few days that so washed the rubber off, so they're working the grooves back in. Mark Dilley got a great drive up off the corner that time, but not able to get the, oh, a little bit of fiberglass flying there. Inside, 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 inside. He's there, he's there. Oh, he roughs him up on the way through. And, oh, Tags gets in on the action as well. He gets a great drive up off the corner in the 18. Tagley, and he actually didn't need to use that nose. The hole was already open, and he continues to use it, jumping the 0-2 Johnsonville Leland Ford up the hill. And here comes the EpiPen Diacom Dodge, but now he slides back. And a little repayment from Matthews. Oh, Steve Matthews never been shy, that's for sure. He's <laughs> a fast little guy, but if you rough him up, he will return the favor. Should mention, too, as we're watching last year's champion, the 22 of Scott Steckley, has passed the 17 of DJ Kennington, move up into 10th spot, but new car blues so far for the 17 of DJ Kennington as they struggle to work that car out. Whoa, we got contact. <laughs> Holy moly. That's Dowler and the 25 of Joey McComb. No caution yet as Dowler refires and McComb gets pointed back in the right direction. 12th spot they were battling over and it looks like McComb has big problems. He's way up the racetrack in the CBSF Dodge of brand new race cars we mentioned earlier. All the wheels pointed in the right direction but he's headed for the paddock. Wow, it doesn't sound too good, but you know, you can't really see anything. Oh, a lot of smoke out underneath, and it looks like the boys had to stop the car. No brakes on the 25. The Pac-Man crew, as Joey McComb likes to call them, go to work on that number 25 race cars. We continue to battle on the speedway between the 84 of Fitzpatrick and the 39 Gannett for eighth position. So it looks like the 84 is continuing his march to the front in that Chevrolet and Pella. J.R. Fitzpatrick, you know, he's, he's a smart. If the car's not working right in one groove, he'll move that thing around to find the fast way around and work it into the top 10. As we continue under green, though, there's one car back in the paddock area. It's a 25 of McComb, and Todd is standing by with him. Todd? After a little on-track contact, the 25 of Joey McComb forced to make a pit stop. Some smoke coming out from underneath the hood. The crew's having a look at it. it looks like there's a line, either a brake line or an oil line off. They're trying to make the repairs as quickly as they can. Yeah, you can see the smoke coming up there, and uh, that's heartbreak for that team. Joey was really looking forward to racing here. Actually was pretty quick in practice, lost the second quickest time earlier today, so he was hoping for big things out of this race. But Jason Hathaway continues at the point here in the Budweiser 300 at Autodrome Junior. I'm L.P. Dumoulin from Trois-Rivières, Quebec. This year, you can try to keep up with me and the weather tech racing team. Being Canadian, I know how extreme our weather can be and what it can do to the inside of your car. That's why everyone needs a set of weather tech floor liners. Only weather tech floor liners are laser measured to fit perfectly front, back, and even up the side to truly protect your vehicle's interior from the elements. Weather tech floor liners, they're the perfect fit. Call or visit my teammates at weathertech.ca. Helmet, seat belt, and a little honey goo on the wheels. That's a bad idea. We don't know that yet. Here we go. Bad on tire treads, great on everything else. Honey goo from Clean Flow. You would text here, but you wouldn't text here.
You would text here. But you wouldn't text here. You would text here. But you wouldn't text here. So why would anybody text here? Welcome back to Otter Drill Shooting Air NASCAR flagman Sean Gibbs looks over the field here for the Budweiser 300 to be work lap 120 and so far all caution free. Big thank you has to go to the track owner Denny Legacy and track manager Kevin Roberts for their hospitality here this weekend. They've been wonderful. I've said it already, but what a neat little racetrack. Now we're starting to see that second group come in. Lots of speed. It races like a half mile. They're on the throttle. <laughs> little contact. <laughs> That's a bull ring. Racing right there. <laughs> but so far, great action. And look at that. It's, oh, yeah. That's a big hit from the 27 of Andrew Ranger right up to the door number of the 95 of Anthony Simone as he brings along the 39 of Alex Cadet. Dave, you got to realize we're at lap 123. We're going to have a competition caution at 150. So now it's like, let's get going here, figure out what the car wants. So when I come down pit road, I can tell my crew chief what I need. How much time would the driver have to actually speak with their crew chief when you're steering so much here? Well, you, you just, it's, whoa, the 72 backwards. Erica Thiering and this will bring out the caution for the first time here in the Budweiser 300. As Thiering tries to refire that Dodge. So Dave, to answer your question, you put the PT button the, the, for the radio in such a position that at all times you can reach it with your thumb so you don't have to concentrate whether you're turning or whether you're going straight. You can always talk to your crew chief. And it looks like she had some help, the 15 of Stephen Matthews getting into the back bumper of the rookie, the number 72, but on board with your leader. And don't forget, Kyle Busch will be racing a late model here at Autodrome Chaudière on the 5th of August. And once you get a handful of late models out here and a guy like Kyle Busch who doesn't like to break, yeah. it's good action. Bring the, bring the wild man to the bull ring. Back to green here in the Budweiser 300, and Hathaway gets a good jump. He'll leave the 18. Um, Alex Tagliani up in that high groove, and Dilly's going to take over second. Bumping and banging, though, in three and four cars all crossways. And now Ranger goes to the inside on Wolf Park 27. Yeah, with the car to watch is the 84. J.R. Fitzpatrick got two cars on the outside. I think he just found a quick way around. Smart move by Alex Gannett there as he backed off a little bit. Tagliani crossways across the stripe. Tries to stick it underneath Ranger, and they continue to bump down the back straightaway. Well, as I said earlier, they're they're looking for the Quebec bragging rights. One fresh from the Indianapolis 500, and the 27 car did not have the finish he was looking for at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. So they're both looking for a big day. But he did win in an ARCA race in New Jersey, so that's buoyed his spirits just a little bit. Well, Ranger just just a road course master, but we've watched him mature on these ovals, and he's getting the job done today. And you have to remember too, he hasn't been on an oval since 2012, the series finale at Kawartha Speedway, and a bump and a big shove from Gennett on the 47 WeatherTech Dodge of Dumoulin. Dave, that tells you how important this race is. Those are teammates out of King Auto Sports. Really, Billy? Though, when you're on the racetrack, are there really teammates? No. <laughs> Cadet continues to try and dig on the 47 of LP Dumoulin. And Dumoulin making good work on that outside groove as you see the nose of the 22 Canadian Tire Dodge. There is Scott Steckley. He needs a big run here today. If you remember, in race number one at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, 25th finishing position for that driver. It's a big hole in the points for him. Yeah, but Dave, the year before, the same thing happened, and what did he get? Oh, that was the championship. That team knows how to rebound. That's a professional race team right there. And we're getting word from NASCAR that they will be throwing the caution for the break, and there it is. Caution out. And this is planned, so the drivers will get an opportunity to head to the paddock area and check over their cars, make any changes they need. Like Billy, you said, possibly tires, possibly a little bit of fuel. Well, I'm, 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 you know, I'm just me, but I'd be right side tires and a full load of fuel and maybe a chassis adjustment if your car's not working. But Jason Hathaway's got a pretty good working race car. I'd be leaving that puppy alone. And he'll pull into his pit stall. Jason White will do the same. Hathaway's been at the front for 86 laps, Todd. 
everything going just the way they wanted for the three team of Jason Hathaway taking the moment to stretch and flex his hands inside the car the crew methodically going to work to make the right side tire change they are very happy with their machine the 17 directly ahead of them DJ Kennington not nearly as happy has fallen out of the top 10 they'll change two right side tires adjust the handling on that car they're also going to check and see if they've got a flat tire the 22 of Scott Steckley is moving forward but also trying to battle through a very tight condition in addition to a two tire change in fuel they'll be making handling adjustments as so many others will up and down pit line the drivers get a rear break when we come back the cars will be rolling here in Valley Josio Quebec when I'm on the court there's no compromise being a professional athlete requires focus and determination off the court it's about living well Pinty's Eat Well helps me live well without compromise. Gluten-free, no artificial colors or flavors, and an excellent source of protein. It's like taste and a nutritious lifestyle have happily come together. Pinty's Eat Well. Live well, eat well, be well. Hey, buddy. What's in the box? Oh, that's my speed demon. I bought it from this guy. He said he'd give my car more power. Oh, that? He drinks a lot of gas! You wanted more power. Wouldn't this have been smarter? Yes! E3 Spark Plug's Diamond Fire technology delivers superior power and exceptional fuel efficiency. Right, you know the drill? Got it, String Bean. First one to that island wins. Is that, is that a dolphin? Where? That's a bad idea. Honey goo is water repellent. I'm gonna go through this water like a jet ski. You wanna do this or what? All right. One, two, three. Hey! Ah! Help me! Bad on swim trunks. Great on everything else. Honey goo from Clean Flow. Welcome back to Autodrome Chaudière for the second round of the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series. Halfway pit stops are coming to resume green for the second half of action. An interesting happening during the pit stops. The number 18 car of Alex Tagliani on the left side of the car. They traded the left front tire for the left rear tire and vice versa. Spoke with crew chief Tyler Case. They're trying to get more grip on the left rear. They've been spinning the tire in the first half. They think this might help them. Interesting move could prove to be a winning one for Alex Tagliani. Not knowing exact sizes, but what, what we're doing is we're, we're changing the stagger on the front, we're changing the stagger on the back. I would assume if he wants more bite, the left rear is now a little bit bigger. You can hear the reps pick up as the green flag waves. We're back underway here in the Budweiser 300, and now it's Dilly up on the outside. Look at him hanging that upper group. No love lost between the 18 and the 27, Dave. Grip, what grip out of the 18 as he continues to wiggle, making contact with the 27 of Andrew Ranger and the 15 of Stephen Matthews as we hit the halfway update. Sponsored by Tim Hortons, two cautions so far today for a total of six laps and our top rookie so far, Eric Thuring, sitting in 16th place, but that car is still in one piece, exactly what she wants to do here today. Mark Dilly did a yeoman's job going around the big side of the three car to get the lead. I'm sure Jason's just going to sit there and bide his time and see if they can drive away from the rest of the pack. The Equipment Express Chevy, the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick. Your points leader as Matthews gets into the 27 of Ranger. Ranger hangs on to it. Now will battle for the lead. As I, way to the inside. As I said, they just ride, and there we go. Jason flexes his muscle and takes the lead back from the 0-2 of Mark Dilly. Doesn't matter where you look on this racetrack, you are going to find a fantastic battle here in the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series as Dilly and the Johnsonville Ford slips in behind the rock star Chevy of Jason Hathaway. Battle for third place, though, between the 15 and the 27. Stephen Matthews a little crossways and makes contact. Boy, the 27 of Andrew Ranger has been everybody's pin pushing today. Yeah, but here, the big mover and shaker, the 84, J.R. Fitzpatrick made some real good adjustments. Look at that thing go around the hook now. I'd say that 84 car came to life. And now he works underneath the 27 of Ranger. Ranger still up in that upper groove, though, and able to get back on the gas a little bit earlier. Keep up the wood, but keep up that momentum. Absolutely. Keep the RPMs up on these spec motors and get the job done down the straightaway. A race car driver, what's he want to handle the best? Down the straightaway. Absolutely. The 80, uh, 18 Diacom Dodge of Alex Tagliani in the front. 
Gray as well. That car seems to have settled down from the initial restart. Here comes Gannett to the inside of the 95 contact, and around goes Anthony Savoni. Dowler avoids, and the 24 of Ray Quartemont Jr. can't get it, won't in time, contact made. Caution is out, obviously, for this spill, coming off of turn number four, and you can see steam out of the 95 and pieces landed on the ground for the 24. Cordomage with lots of damage. We're gonna ride on board with him down the backstretch. We can already see Simone around backwards. He's gotta make a choice right about here. He goes to the bottom, and then, oh, it's just too late. He drives right into the right side of the 95. An unfortunate end, it appears, for the 24 of Ray Cordomage Jr. Remember, at the end of race number one, he kept that car clean the entire race long and unfortunately got caught up in it. It looks like a lot of damage to their crew surveying the damage here on La, the La Cité de Mirabel Incorporated number 24. Well, once again, he's going to take a car home in a basket. Yeah, you can see the right front wheel at the very least is just bouncing along and Ray Jr. knows it. He's unplugging and he's unbuckling. He'll hop it out, out of that car. His race is done, but Jason Hathaway will lead him back to Greece. Nothing is tougher on your car's floor than you. That's why there's WeatherTech floor liners. WeatherTech liners are laser measured to custom fit and perfectly protect your specific make and model. Front, back, even up the sides. Dirt and spill stay in the liner until you wash them away. Order your WeatherTech floor liners at weathertech.ca or call this number. Complete protection, completely North American made. Order your WeatherTech protection today at weathertech.ca. The Stars and Cars of the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series makes its only stop in Alberta on Friday, July 11th. Tagley Annie, Ranger, Steckley, and Kennington will be at Edmonton International Raceway in Wetaskiwin. Plus, five-time Alberta NASCAR champion Erica Fearing and the always entertaining Stacker Cars. Friday, July 11th, the Alberta has Energy 300 at Edmonton International Raceway in Wetaskiwin, Alberta. Your stop for NASCAR racing. Go to edmontonraceway.com for more details. Helmet, seatbelt, and a little honey goo on the wheels. That's a bad idea. We don't know that yet. Here we go. Bad on tire treads, great on everything else. Honey goo from Clean Flow. Welcome back to race number two of the 2014 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series on TSN. I'm Dave Bradley. Along with me is Billy Rouse Jr. and Todd Lewis's trackside as we get set for the third restart of the day here on lap 175 at Autodrome Chaudier. Our free pass car was the 97 of Hugo Benini that time. Puts him back up on the lead lap. And once again, we got this battle for the lead between the 0-2 of Mark Dilling up on the outside and the number three of Hathaway, and they touch. On cold tires, it seems that the 0-2 is just a little stronger on the outside. And then the three comes to life. And this time, he's not letting him get all the way down in front of him. And Ranger is still there. No matter how many times somebody's been bouncing off that Mopar Dodge, Ranger appears strong. So does Stephen Matthews, the pole sitter from this race out of New Liskert, Ontario. The 47, L.P. Dumoulin and that WeatherTech Dodge, he's right there hunting the top spot as well. On board with Hathaway in the Chevrolet. He is close to that Leland Industries number 02 of Mark Dilley. He's able to turn the middle of the corner. Watch his hands. He's so calm on it. That, that's an indication of how good that race car is. His hands are calm, and in the middle of the corner, you can see it turn right on over, and that's where he's able to get the nose underneath Mark Dilley. Matthews up to third spot, and Ranger now in a battle for fourth with the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick L.B. Dumoulin in the WeatherTech.ca number 47. There is the 18 of Alex Tagliani as well. So still a gaggle of cars up near the front of this field. And to the inside goes Hathaway. A new battle for the lead as these two have been going hand and hammer and tongue all race long. But as I said earlier, that outside groove starting to take rubber. And I'll tell you, Dilly's got that thing hooked up on the outside. Remember, Kerry Mix drove the 0-2 at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park to open the season. Hands over that car to Mark Dilly for the oval races in 2014. And we're going three wide here at Autodrome Chaudière. Man, I'll tell you, if you're not enjoying this race, you're just, you're just not a race fan. 
You are not as Matthews hunting in third spot, waiting to see which groove is gonna open up, and it looks like it might be the outside as Dilly takes over the top spot. You can see three wide a little deeper in the field as well. Well, they're at it, and I'll tell you that, and I'm still talking about that outside group. And Mark Dilly taking all his knowledge from Sunset and Barry Speedway and using it on a setup. And as you spoke about, Kerry Mix owns that operation. These two guys have raced against each other and with each other for probably the better part of 25 years. But it is a real tribute to these drivers. Uh, we've only had a couple cautions so far today, so really clean racing despite a lot of the leaning on each other all the way around this circuit. There's the interesting thing. The, the zero 2 decides once he gets past the three to come down to the bottom, and it's not his groove because now the three was able to catch him a little easier. The outside groove is the fast part. Two drivers have been going side by side for the last five laps. The 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick and the 27 of Andrew Ranger, Chevy and the Dodge, still going at it door to door. A little crooked for the 18 of Tagliani, but there is last year's champion, the 22 of Scott Stackley. And how about DJ Kennington up to ninth now, or 10th spot for Kennington as he seems to have made some changes and figured out that car just a little bit. Oh, well, Dave White, or Whitey, as I like to refer to him, he's pretty smart too. He's been watching that car the first half, made some adjustments. They know it's a new car, but I'll tell you, they're always big picture racing that team. Anthony Saboni involved in that early race skirmish. He is slow on the inside of the track, but Everybody is chasing the 0-2 of Mark Dilly. Mahindra dealer days are here, and folks are taking notice of the best tractor deals of the year. Like Mahindra's incredible zero interest for up to 84 months, or up to 4,500 cash back, plus Mahindra's five-year warranty. No wonder Mahindra is the world's number one selling tractor, and the other guys are green with envy. Hurry in for huge dealer day savings before they're gone. Good morning. Okay, Mr. Reed, you can have a seat. Uh, enjoy some refreshments if you'd like, and we'll let you know when it's ready. Perfect. Get the fast service and factory quality your car deserves with Mopar Express Lane Service. We check over 20 items and then perform an oil and filter change all in about 30 minutes. Okay, Mr. Reed? Or less. Uh, you are all set. What? Mopar Express Lane. Fast service for busy people. At select Chrysler Canada dealers today. You would text here, but you wouldn't text here. You would text here, but you wouldn't text here. You would text here, but you wouldn't text here. So why would anybody text here? TSN Fantasy Football presented by Moores. Go to tsn.ca slash CFL Fantasy and make your picks. You could win a trip to the 102nd Grey Cup along with a Joseph Abood suit. TSN Fantasy Football presented by Moores. And a battle for second spot is welcome back to the Budweiser 300 here on TSN. Mark Dilly is your leader in the 0-2, but here's what we're watching. The 3 of Jason Hathaway and the 15 of Stephen Matthews are really leaning on each other. <laughs> All kinds of action up off the corner, and the three survives up beating down the backstretch. 15-2, that's got to be some concern for the right front of the Bill Matthews Motors board of Stephen Matthews. But, you know, Billy, we got to say that the racers here in 2014 are racing with a bit of a heavy heart as uh, we lost uh, a huge fan of the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series and a big supporter of the Dodge brand, Bill Rowe. He was just a racer's racer. He didn't miss many races, and if he did, he kept, if he did miss, he kept up with it pretty well of what we were doing. And he was, it's just sad to, to see a man leave the sport. And another thing, too, we should mention is that the head of scoring, Pete Gottler, and uh, his brother, Jeff, were down at South Buxton Raceway on the dirt watching the first Gottler Memorial race back on June 7th. So that's a cool story as they honor fallen racers down at South Buxton Raceway. There's a battle right there. J.R. Fitzpatrick in the 15. They're going at it for third, Dave. And you got to think, did Stephen Matthews start to wear out that right front battling so hard with the three of Jason Hathaway? Is he backing off just a little bit as we almost went three wide? The 47 of L.P. Dumoulin squirts it in front of this dice. I know it's a quarter mile, but we got two grooves here in Bob. 
I'll tell you, they are beating each other up. This year, you can try to keep up with me and the Weather Tech Racing Team. Being Canadian, I know how extreme our weather can be and what it can do to the inside of your car. That's why everyone needs a set of Weather Tech Floor Liners. Only Weather Tech Floor Liners are laser measured to fit perfectly front, back, and even up the side to truly protect your vehicle's interior from the elements. Weather Tech Floor Liners, they're the perfect fit. Call or visit my teammates at weathertech.ca. Family is all about firsts. First, haircuts. And first lessons. First, big wins. And first loves. The first time away. And that first trip home. Dodge Grand Caravan. For 30 years, it's taken everything a family could throw at it or in it. Hey, buddy. What's in the box? Oh, that's my speed demon. I bought it from this guy. He said I'd give my car more power. Oh, that? He drank a lot of gas. You wanted more power. Wouldn't this have been smarter? Yes. E3 Spark Plug's Diamond Fire technology delivers superior power and exceptional fuel efficiency. <laughs> Welcome back to round number two of the 2014 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series here on TSN. The three of Jason Hathaway continues to lead the Budweiser 300. We're just south of Quebec City in Valley Junction, Quebec. And what a wonderful race the fans have been treated to here today as we've got a four-car battle now for six spot. The 22 down the bottom, trying to get position on the 47, but can't fill the hole. This would be a wonderful rebound for the 22 of Scott Stackley out of Milverton, Ontario. And remember, he qualified back in 14th. So to be up dicing for the top five is definitely a check mark in the good books. And that inside the 47, Dumoulin, all kinds of loose up off the corner when he gets on the loud pedal, Dave. First time in his NASCAR Canadian Tire Series career, the five of Noel Dallary on the wheel of a Chevrolet. The first time it's been prepared in the white motorsports stable, and that 11 chassis is working really well for the youngster. Oh, he just drove it down into the bottom that time, Dave. On board with Stan. 
exactly how to look at his heads. How well is his car working? Well, Scott's always been one of those real soft-handed drivers. He doesn't fight a lot. He just takes what the car will give him. You won't see Scott really wrestle a bad car. Tagliani starting to fall back. You remember he made hard contact with the outside wall not too many laps ago. And it appears as though that car is probably damaged a lot worse than he thought. But Hathaway has been dominant here at Autodrome. Chaudier has led for 137 laps so far today. Well, if he can get the job done, we'll take that and put him the rock star of the day with all those laps led. Johnsonville, Leland Industries 0-2 of Mark Dilly has been equally as good. Started in the sixth spot, now up to second. There you see the gap. Back to the third place driver, the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick, who's had to put his work gloves on here today. He's had some digging to do. Well, there's, you know, conversely, you talk about how calm the Steckley is in a race car. This guy right here, he'll wear the steering wheel out trying to get that car to the front. But you know what? If you talk to his father, John, and you say, well, the kid's good today, he'll stop you immediately and say, he's not a kid anymore. He's growing up. There's Jason White up on the outside in 11th spot as J.R. Fitzpatrick slides underneath him. Yeah, with uh, with John's comment about the kid, no, he's not, but it's just that us veterans remember him racing the junior cast cars and all those little cars to get here. He's got a ton of experience. He has no kid for sure. I love how you call yourself a veteran and not an old guy. Well, yeah, uh, I resemble <laughs> that remark. There is Matthews with Ranger on his back bumper, fourth spot for the Mopar Dodge, looking back to the Dodge Challenger, the number 22 of Scott Steckley. quality in the convenience of home. It's Pinty's Pub and Grill. Our premium chicken wings, breasts and combos, authentic sauces on the side, fully cooked and easy to prepare. Pinty's Pub and Grill, making great food fun. Available at your favorite grocery store. If you're shopping for a tractor, the Mahindra Max proves that numbers never lie. That's because the Mahindra Max is the number one lift capacity in its class and best in class turning radius to get into places other tractors can't. Oh, and when the other guy's warranty stops at two years, Mahindra's five-year warranty is still going strong. Add it all up and you get the world's number one selling tractor, Mahindra. If you love your car more than anything, treat it right with Castrol Edge. Castrol Edge is driven stronger to meet the higher demands of your engine and the high demands of car lovers everywhere. 
It's more than just oil. It's liquid engineering. You and your family deserve our best. Pinty's Eat Well complements your balanced lifestyle. Gluten-free, no artificial colors or flavors, an excellent source of protein. Pinty's Eat Well. Live well, be well, eat well. Available at these fine retailers. Welcome back to Autodrome Chaudière, a track that opened in 1992 as a dirt track. It is a far better place after being paved in 2005 as the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series Series makes their first stop here. And now Mark Dilley is under fire. This is a battle for second. J.R. Fitzpatrick in the Equipment Express Chevy underneath the Johnsonville 02. He's able to arc that thing in there and keep the, the RPMs up, and that's what's really saving him from the wrath of the 84. And Jason Hathaway is your leader, and he's well out in front, and no doubt his spotter is telling him, don't worry about it, these two guys are racing, so that'll slow them down a little bit. And right now, you gotta know, JR is just chewing on that steering wheel, trying to get in there, but he's also really putting the beating on that right front, driving it down in there like that. Almost 10 laps to go now as they continue to battle side by side. A battle for fifth between Gannett and the 27 of Andrew Ranger. They've been beating off each other all day. Why would they stop now? Oh, Ranger. Oh, oh the caution. 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 Benini's around to a 97 in turn number two. Well, that's going to change the game a little bit. I think it will. So we'll have a short sprint to the end after a long marathon. Green flag runs. Here in Valley Junction, Quebec, we'll have another look at what happened. Well, ben Benini just comes down across the nose of the 17. DJ really not having a spot there, and around he goes. I well, remember Benini down a lap, and uh, he'll tag back on to the tail of the field, but have a look at these front two drivers. It is Jason Hathaway on the inside, the 0-2 of Mark Dilley. You've got a number of drivers capable of winning here in the Budweiser 300 as we go back to green. If you got any giddy-up left, you best throw it out the table, because it's go time. Contact between the three and the zero two. And Gannett got all kinds of crooked. He fell out of that lead group. J.R. Fitzpatrick getting pounded on from behind. Here comes Dilly to the inside. Bye. Bye. Man, there's respect. Oh, the 27 and the 84 get together, and around goes J.R. Fitzpatrick. You knew this was going to happen with all the contact we see today. A caution flies once again. And it's the Chevrolet of J.R. Fitzpatrick pointed in the wrong direction. Andrew Ranger does have some body damage, so we'll see if it's any more extensive than that. But have another look. Billy, take us through it. The 84 gets loose in the middle of the corner. The 27 tries to fill the gap. Now we're three wide. There's just not enough room, and around they go. Stephen Matthews better buy a lottery ticket because he got lucky there. And they could have easily turned right and had them all. On board with J.R. Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick trying to hang on to it, and there is the final blow that finally spins around the Equipment Express Chevy, and Andrew Ranger is in the paddock area. Big damage to that Dodge. Wow, we got fender braces, tie rod ends. It's, there's a whole bunch of stuff happening on the 27. Now we're going to go green-white checker. Man, I'll tell you, buckle up, Buttercup. This is the pay laps coming up. On this track, are you kidding me? How about the five of Noel Dowler sitting pretty inside the top five as a green flag waves. We're back underway, and he Immediately, the two cars in the front go to work on each other. Mark Dilly trying to hold the three down to keep the momentum. And all the three moves them up. This is great side-by-side -side action. A lot of respect between these two guys. One to go. White flag is out, and the leader clips by the 15 of Stephen Matthews up into third. Here comes Steckley for fourth. But the leader is the three car of Jason Hathaway. The rock star Chevy will lead him off at turn number four and pick up his first win of 2014. Dowler cuts a right front on the closing laps and loses all that track position. Steckley will come home fourth, chasing the 15 of Steven Matthews, but what a show those two drivers put on. Todd? Jamie Hackinson got pretty interesting there at the end, didn't it? Pretty scary. I was on my toes the whole time. <laughs> Congratulations Thank to you and Jason. He seems to win at this kind of track. He loves this stuff. He loves it. 50 to go. Get out of the way. We're coming. <laughs> Have fun celebrating. Yeah. It's his fourth career win, and he'll do an old-school video. Victory lap, the Rockstar Energy Chevrolet wins here at Autodrome Chaudier. Wake up and smell the coffee. When they tell you their service and collision parts or accessories are as good as original, get out of there. Your vehicle deserves the best genuine Mopar. With Mopar, it's easy to keep your baby looking good and running great. Let someone else settle for knockoffs.
Get the best for your Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, SRT, and Fiat. We are Mopar. Demand authentic performance. The Stars and Cars of the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series makes its only stop in Alberta on Friday, July 11th. Tagliani, Ranger, Steckley, and Kennington will be at Edmonton International Raceway in Wetaskiwin. Plus, five-time Alberta NASCAR champion Eric M. Fearing and the always entertaining Stacker Cars. Friday, July 11th, the Alberta has Energy 300 at Edmonton International Raceway in Wetaskiwin, Alberta. Your stop for NASCAR racing. Go to edmontonraceway.com for more details. All right, you know the drill? Got it, String Bean. First one to that island wins. Is that, is that a dolphin? Where? That's a bad idea. Honeydew is water repellent. I'm gonna go through this water like a jet ski. You wanna do this or what? All right. One, two, three. Hey! Ah! Help me! Bad on swim trunks. Great on everything else. Honeydew from Clean Flow. And now that the whole family has arrived, Jason Hathaway is climbing out of that number three Rockstar Energy Chevrolet and giving everybody a little spray to celebrate his first victory of the year. Hudson has made it down from his nap. Hannah and Macy have already arrived. Jason, your car was fast through the morning practice. It was fast in qualifying, not in the front row, but fast, and you could seem to run anywhere you wanted on this track. Yeah, we had a good car. A little scary at the end there when uh, we had a couple of that caution. I knew it was coming at the end. I knew something would happen. I knew we had to save a little bit, but uh, we were so damn good through the through the first part and through the second part, and um, I'm sure glad about it was Mark Dilly and I because he's a class act. Um, Got to thank my boys. Father's Day. An emotional win for Father's Day and Jason Hathaway with his family beside him. Yeah, there will be a party with the boys tonight. Yeah! Billy, you've been in victory lane with your family. How does that feel? Woo, she's tough, I'll tell you. He did a wonderful job. The three card on rails today. We'll take a look at the uh, final top ten. Alex Gannett coming home in sixth spot. DJ Kennington salvages a seventh in the 72 of Erica Thiering. Have to mention the top rookie coming home in 13th. Mark, you could run the outside, but Jason was, I guess, just a little bit better on the inside. A terrific race, though. Yeah, it was a good race. That's great to race with Jason like that. They did a great job there, team. My team. Can't thank Leland Johnsonville, of course, Brian Cathcart Trucking for getting us here, Dickies. Everybody, it's good to get back and get rolling. I think we've got a good piece. We'll work on it for the next one. Thanks, Mark. With a smile on the veteran's face there, and I'll tell you, Kerry Mix will be just as happy. And we'll take a look at the point standings after two events. J.R. Fitzpatrick still holds on to a slim lead over L.P. Duke. DJ Kennington up to third. How about Hugo Vanini, though, in fourth? And uh, the man who sits sixth is currently standing by with our Todd Lewis. Todd? Steve Matthews, great qualifying and ran up near the front all day. Fell back a little bit, but also fought your way back to the front. All in all, we're happy with the result. Great track, great fans. Um, good for about 50 laps, and then we'd lose the front end of the car, so I was just hanging on. Glad to come out with the third, and I gotta thank my crew, gotta thank Bill Matthews Motors, gotta thank these fans and track for having us, and uh, not sure when we're gonna be out next, but I can't wait. Next stop of the series will be at Cert Free iCar, just outside of Montreal. Owners Kevin Roberge and Danny Legacy with the trophy presented to Jason Athaway. The Budweiser 300 is brought to you by Castro Edge. We don't stop at Strong. E3 spark plugs, born to burn. And by Mopar, authentic performance. Well, there's our rock star of the day. Jason Halfway in the three had a whale of a first visit here to this little speed plant. Our next race, the Jiffy Loop 100 at Cirque Icar in Mirabel, Quebec, back on the road courses. We'll see if Hathaway can keep up his winning ways. For all of us here at Fuel Media Lab, we'll see you next time. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced. Pick up the pace as we get ready for four races in 20 days across this great country. Last time out at Autodrome Chaudière, the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series put on a whale of a show. The racing was relentless, and it was a no-holds bar affair. Rockstar Jason Hathaway outdueled Mark Dilley for his first win of the season. Now we arrive at Sir Free Icar, where the racing is just as tight and just as challenging. Andrew Ranger has Icar's ticket well in hand. Can the young racing star repeat his dominance on the runway just north of Montreal? 
Surgery Icar in Mirabel, Quebec, plays host to the Jiffy Lube 100, presented by Petit Breton. This is race number 3 of 11 for the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series Championship, presented by Mobile One. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Bradley, along with Billy Rose Jr. here in the booth, and Spencer Lewis, and newcomer Carly Hayward are covering...